Hello, everyone. This is Tim Merriam, DLP Specialist at Symantec, Systems Engineer. Today, we're going to cover making a detection with the Network Prevent for Email. To make a detection on the Network Prevent for Email component within the Symantec DLP software, what we'll do is we'll use this policy in our policy list, which is the America's PII policy. Of this policy, we're actually going to use this rule set that would actually trigger on a high number of social security numbers that are sent through an email. And the response that we're going to actually take with this detection is blocking that SMTP email. And when we block that SMTP email, then we are looking for a high number of matches, so it's a high severity incident. And the incident type is going to be any of the network uh, detections. And again, the action we're going to take is to block. And then we're also going to send an email notification to the sender of that SMTP message. And then we're going to also send an email notification to the IT security team uh, just to let the sender, the IT security team, know uh, that there was information being sent through an email that was not authorized. Now, when I switch over to a particular user to do this, I'm going to use joe at acme.com. Joe is actually going to send an email to Larry at anothercompany.com. And for the subject line, uh, we're just going to say that Joe is sending uh, some very sensitive information to Larry and just maybe what they talked about at lunch the other day. Now, the data that we're going to actually use is from a test file. This is test information that we know will trigger our policy that we just showed in uh, our policy section in a previous video. Now, if I copy this information and I paste it into the body, I want to be able to make a detection in the body of the message, but also want to be able to make that detection when I attach this file as part of the message itself. Now what I'll do is go ahead and send that email from Joe to Larry at another company. And what I have open is Joe's actually inbox. And I'm just going to encourage my send and receive folder here. And so the first notification we're going to get is that notification from the IT security department of that email that we just sent. Hey, Joe, that email that had the subject line of what we discussed at lunch was blocked from going to Larry at another company because it violated a, that specific policy that we showed in our policy section of the Enforce Console. Now, Moving back over to my Enforce console here, we're going to show the actual incident that we just generated of what we discussed at lunch from the sender Joe to the recipient of Larry at another company. You could see the policy that was actually violated and the high number of matches and the high severity. Now, the other thing that is important to show is, did your IT security department also receive a notification? And you could see that since that is part of the response rules that we set up for this detection, your IT security department is also giving a notification that Joe had sent an email to Larry at another company with the subject line of what we discussed at lunch and it violated that policy that we have in play in the Enforced Management Console. We give very specific variables as part of the responses as well. And now looking at our incidents again, in the next video, we can talk about exactly how uh, we aggregate or collect that specific detection by way of a security incident itself. This is how we make a network prevent for emails detection. Thank you.